I'm blushing. All right. We are live. Oh, can you pronounce your last name, Don? Oh, my last name is Bringas. Bringas. I'm, I'm with Don Bringas um, today from Don and Helen Photography. These guys are um, world-class famous wedding photographers. These guys are. Um, uh, Helen can't join us because uh, she is prego, apparently. And yeah, oh, very. yes, very pregnant. Um, so unfortunately, she won't be able to join us today, which is understandable. But how are you doing, Don? I'm cool. Actually, here in the here in the islands now is quite hot. We are suffering some some sort of uh, we call it here Sirocco. So it's like from uh, 37 degrees up to 50 degrees Celsius. Yeah, that's yeah. how hot it is to, today. So it's it's something useful here. Sure, sure. sure. Yeah, but on, on wedding on wedding days, oh, it's 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 like an inferno. I can't even imagine. Yeah, that's hot. Um, it's it's kind of warm here in the states as well. I'm on the east coast. Um, you know, we're like in the 90s, 90 uh, Fahrenheit. I don't know what that. What, what does that convert to? Probably around the 30s. Around 30 Celsius. So that's cool. Yeah. Sure. Like we're transitioning over to fall over here so mm. excited about that yeah yep. uh, let's see what we got sorry about my uh, sound effects sometimes i do that um do the sound effects very nice um all right. Well, we can start the interview. Be patient um, with me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah English is not my first language. Well, did you see? I guess you know Pablo, uh, like Beglas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a mental guy. He's he's my neighbor. Sure, that's what I was I was thinking because he was one of the first first folks that I interviewed. Um, and as you know, he doesn't really speak. Uh, any English um, that much, at least when I interviewed him. So we had a translator there, and wow. So it was um it was pretty interesting to to do that. But but I know that his audience probably got a lot out of it, and um, those yeah. are a little bit lost in translation. But no, you're you're good. You're Thank totally you. good. Thank you. Yeah. Try my best. Oh, uh, well, why don't you start off by um, talking to us about um. How long you been a photographer? Some of uh, uh, what kind of led you into this field, um, and and uh, maybe some of the um, jobs you had before you were a photographer, or, or or whatever you did. Yeah, well, um, first of all, I've uh, our first jobs. My first job when I arrived here in in Spain in Canary Islands because I'm from Philippines okay. and I don't speak any Spanish at all, so. What is the normal work of a person who doesn't speak the language, even though you finish a career, you have a normal job back there in your country, and you go to that country, well, the first thing you, ha you can get is a cleaning job, a job, a cleaning job, a restaurant job, uh, jobs that you don't need to speak. Sure. So it's a very humble work at all. So I'm very proud of it, proud of it because with that, I, I managed to send money to my to my. Uh, to my family back in the Philippines, and uh, what's the other question you, you said? Um, maybe just talk about like um, you know how long you've been a photographer, how long ago you started, you know what what, what was your beginning? Uh, yeah, as a we've been we've been shooting like started from the scratch, shooting for almost almost four years now, shooting from the scratch, mm -hmm. and the business is established like legally like uh, more than two years now. Mm -hmm. So we've been shooting like, uh, like uh, pro photographers for two years now, uh, only weddings and uh, some editorials and stuff because that is fun sometimes to do, doing something out of your comfort zone. And uh, my wife actually started the business. <laughs> the first camera that we bought is actually a gift from our wedding. All the money that we accumulate in the wedding we put all those money in uh, in a camera, in a DSLR, a cheap yeah. DSLR, and that's how we started photography. Cool. What was that? What was that first camera you had? 
wow, that's a Canon 550D. I know it's like a Rebel XTI, I think, in the United yeah. States. Sure. <laughs> with like their Ti5 or something like. Uh, yeah, something like that. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, I had, so I, I did a photo camp last week. Some students had that camera thing. So, uh, <laughs> some teens. <laughs> that's that's fantastic. Yeah. What, what are you shooting with now? Now we're shooting with the uh, Canon 5Ds, and uh, I still I still have the the classics. The classics won't go go away from home because it's a part of a family, and we're shooting as well with Fuji films. And uh, lately we are starting to have uh, to be in love with Fuji films because they're very lightweight and I'm having some troubles with my how do you say this this part of your hands uh, the the wrist the, the wrist uh, yeah I'm having lots of pain in my wrist lately because of the heavy cameras like the 5 ds always in this right hand and the lenses actually the Fuji is like lightweight I don't feel it in my hands I can leave it on my neck like whole day no problem sure. The only back back off with Fuji films are the bokeh, so we can we can we can get along with that afterwards. And uh, others like some ask me questions: How does it feel in your hand? This didn't it didn't feel funny at first, but it feels funny at first because it's like you're holding a point and shoot compared with the five Ds. Right. But it's it's actually a, a, a good gear. I mean, professionally, we are using it. Sure. Oh yeah. Um... Yeah, I love I love my uh, X100. That's one of my favorite cameras besides my 5D. And um, I've taken I've taken that with me on professional shoot. That's crop sensor, but um, I, I still love that camera. It's a great camera. And um, yeah, would love to get the X Pro two. Um, yeah, as well. Just do it. Just do it. Don't think about it. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I, uh, I I do love Fuji. And I probably will get it, but you know, I'm I've been waiting for the the mark for oh. forever and it, it, people keep saying it's this month um that it's being released so do you think those spe those specs leaks are true about the 5d mark IV? yeah i don't know i don't know i you know i i don't um i don't know i, I mean i love the i love the mark three and I, as soon as the mark four comes out i mean i'm gonna buy it but probably no matter what but um yeah i don't know <laughs> I don't really care. I also, also may just not buy it and buy another Mark III. Yeah. As well as I don't know. Yeah, that's that's the problem with 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 us as well. When we first started in photography, we tried to buy many stuff. That thinking about oh, buying stuff will make us better photographers. Yeah. Will give the look that other photographer is 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 making with with those um, stuff that he has. I'll buy it. Probably I can do it. And that's yeah. the <laughs> that's the greatest mistake that we committed right. when we were first learning. That's a lot of money in the in, in, in the trash bin sure. directly. Well, then, I mean, how did you guys get so good so quickly? Then, like, well, <laughs> and all. I mean, talk about that. <laughs> based, yeah. based, on, based on the perception of the public, you guys are really, really good. And I and I would, I mean, I think you, your y'all's work is is absolutely gorgeous. I mean. How did you get to that point in such a short time? I can I cannot really tell you how. It's it's just like waking up from 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 one day to another. That oh look at this, we're doing good stuff. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> just pulling your leg. Yeah. Well, actually, it's 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 a long process. It's not like like what I said before. Like okay, I've seen somebody and I will imitate him, and that's it. It's not like that. So we have to. It changed our, our mindset about photography, first of all. Mm -hmm. We have a problem before that we we always have loads of gear with us when we go to a wedding or when we go for an editorial shoot. So that's the problem. I mean, we have to think, okay, this gear, we have to use this for this type of shoot in this moment. Now, this lens for this type of moment in this shot. Now, this camera, and that is the problem. I mean, instead of focusing on the moment, waiting, like chasing for the moment, chasing for the light, you're actually putting up a wishing list to do in the wedding day, and that is not the way to do it. Sure, sure. sure. Um, <clears throat> cool. Thank you for sharing that. Um, let's see. I'm gonna. Have, I'm just gonna go to my questions really quick. Um, so, so you, you said you guys have been shooting for four years. 
Um, do you have any embarrassing or funny stories from like when you first started out? Oh boy, yes. There's a lot. Which one? <laughs> <laughs> there are lots of stuff. And there's like uh, what some 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 situation that okay, we we told our our, our clients, the couples, that we are uh, very minimal in gear. And then we pop up in their wedding day, like shooting like documentary type. And we, we have this beauty dish, like huge beauty dish on top of them always, like shooting pom, 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 pom. <laughs> and all the wedding photos of the, of, the, of the people around with their iPhones or their telephones. The, 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 the couple says always the beauty dish on top of them. Oh my gosh. So that's one. That's one of it. And uh, do, you want, do, you, do you want more? Yeah, sure. Go for it. Come on, man. You're, you're going to embarrass me. <laughs> <laughs> well, what else? Mm. Yes. I think it's not embarrassing in front of the public, this one. But it's embarrassing looking back, looking back from now. It's, a, it's, it's, that, it's that we, we did a wedding in a, in a neighbor island here in Canary Islands. And we are so proud of what we did that uh, I commented uh, with one of my friends and one of my colleagues that we entered there in that, in that wedding like photographers and then we came out like gods. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, I'm so proud of the wedding day that I did. But in the end, looking back, those photos, they're so ugly, man. They're so ugly. I mean, they're like, they're like photos from the trash bins. I mean... Somebody used it in the toilet and then put it in the trash bin. <laughs> That's how the photos looks like. I mean, how long ago was that? That was like two years ago. Yeah. And I am so embarrassed about not not, not of the image itself, but on the memories that it brings back to me. That wow, how can I be so so idiotic? I mean, thinking about that I'm so good at that right. time. I mean. Well, so what, in, in, what, in what ways do you think you guys have grown from, from that two short years of, of that time? Well, we, we grown, we grown emotionally, mm -hmm. especially emotionally separated from our work because that, this is very important for all uh, photographers or artists who are working, I mean, with their talents, with using, using their creativity. You have to separate work, creative work, with your personal life. Because if you mix those two together, I mean, you will not be as, love, as a lovely person, a lovely father or husband, as an artist. You have to separate, separate the ego from personal life. Sure. It's very important. What are some practical ways that you guys do that? You know, one of my one of my questions is how how do you ground yourself as a as a human and, and yeah, kind of kind of disconnect yourself from from this art form and and this thing that consumes a lot of us? Yeah, what are yeah. some techniques you guys use? Well, actually, it's not a technique. It's it's always a trial and error for us because yeah. you know you know what I'm saying. Because when you finish a wedding, you got home, you, you you're on your bed, you're like. Uh, I need I need to retouch at least five photos and then uh, it's it's difficult to disconnect. You know what I mean, Mark? Yeah, yeah. But sure. I mean, sure. it's very important to always practice, uh, practice, practice to separate your personal life to photography to your creative uh, work. I mean, you have to put limits. The the problem with with our with our work is that when we get home, we can decide if we we are we continue work. We continue working or we stop working. But what the problem those, is, yeah, what are some of those limits that you and Helen have in your business? Well, well put put a schedule. Always make a schedule. Mm -hmm. And like from this time, this time I work. From this time, uh, like for we are going to a wedding day, we just put uh, limited hours in our wedding. We don't stay there forever. <laughs> like, okay, I'll shoot your wedding from start to finish. Like whenever that everybody's drunk. But if sure. what's the problem? If the problem is if everybody doesn't get that uh, doesn't get drunk easily, so you stay there like until six a.m. shooting the wedding. So it's like put like right. eight to ten hours of uh, limitation on on the wedding day, and then on yet and when you are edit editing on the computer, you put like an eight hour job, and that's very important. Sometimes I I forget about it and hadn't always done. It's time to go home. 
but I'm actually home. I mean, I mean, sure. you, you yourself, you have to be home with your with your lovely wife, with your kids. Right. I mean, you're doing this for them, not not uh, not vice versa. Yeah. I mean, uh, over time, you guys have been doing it for four years. Uh, do you guys, do, do you and Helen see yourselves um, over the long term doing the same thing? And, and if so, how do you plan on doing that? Well, actually, actually there's, there's, there's nothing, there's no, nothing constant. There's nothing constant. There's a saying, there's nothing constant as change. Sure. Oh, there's always change. You cannot do the same thing always. If you do the same thing, also you're, you're stuck there, you're doing nothing. I mean, you get bored and then your creativity will stop. Yeah. I mean, change is always good. So we don't actually think of what we're going to do um, the year after now or the next two years, next 10 years. Well, so we, we just... Yeah, I mean, that's really interesting. I, you know, that's, that's not... Uh, at least the people, the, the general population doesn't think like that over here. I think um, a lot of people, at least, at least where I'm from, uh, you know, they do feel stuck in their job. They're, you know, they're, they're trying to, they're trying to uh, stick it out for their 30 years so that they can get that retirement and, you know, those things. What do you think about that? Yeah, that, that, well, back, back in the years when I was working for, for some companies, that is always what I seen. My parents, mm -hmm. my, um, my grandparents, my uncles, my family, my cousins, they're always been they've, they've been always working for somebody they've been always working for a boss and uh, I mean when you get like 40 years old 50 years old probably you won't get your uh, retiring age because they will fire you out before that sure. and that's the problem I mean this is the this is the comf comfy part of our job that we know we have job because we are we we are our, our own boss sure, so sure. Can, well, for for a lot of photographers, I think that the, the business side of, of this industry um, tends to be a little intimidating. It sounds like you guys kind of made, just made your own way. I mean, do y'all have a business background? Like, what are some uh, I don't know. What are some tips or uh, <laughs> suggestions? For yeah. I mean, we we are not experts in, in business. Actually, we we things just 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 get. I mean, the thing the thing that most of our clients really really love about us it's not the photography itself it's how we treat them mostly and uh, they they become our friends and then afterwards they they sell us they, they, the, the clients will sell us that's that's how our business grew from from nothing to a good business that is actually our main um, our main income because of the word by word you say it in English yeah the referrals and, and referrals uh, by word. Yeah, yeah, word of mouth. I, yeah, I word of mouth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I would agree with that. Um, starting off as an artist, I um, I remember being uh, socially, fairly socially disconnected, and I found that making my own art by myself in front of my computer was was really great. And it was a lot of fun in the beginning, and then when you started getting hired, you have to address that um, pretty quickly, and so you either have to figure out um, that part of, um, uh, that part of life, essentially, I wouldn't even say business, but I think that, um, being able to talk to other humans in a way that, um, continues a relationship, that is a difficult thing for a lot of folks, especially artists and photographers. You know, I think there's, <clears throat> there's this theme with, with us, you know, uh, that, <laughs> that's hard. Yeah, it's just, it's just hard. And, um, I think that's, that's a really valuable piece of information for, for those of us who uh, struggle with that and are trying to make a real business and not just go out there and take photos. Yeah, I mean, that's the most important, like what you said, Mark, the most important part of your business is you yourself, not your photos, not your cameras, not your gear, not your website, it's you. The best marketing is you. So you as a person, how are you? Are, are, you, are you a good person as a, as a good photographer you are? So you have to be a better person than a good photographer. Sure. Sure. That's a really good suggestion. Thank you so much for sharing all that stuff with us. Um, so when you guys did start out, what, what were some of your biggest challenges you ran into um, just taking on this, this new profession, this art form? One moment, please. Yeah. Ah, 
Is that coffee? Yes. That's coffee. What, what kind of coffee are you drinking, by the way? Very black coffee, like a quadruple espresso. Mm -hmm. What do, do you know the brand? Well, I don't actually uh, go to a brand. There's a local coffee in my in the islands, so okay, naturally brewed here in the islands. Oh wow, actually um, good. Very cool. Yeah, I'm I'm like a little. Uh, I'm, I, I, I'm just interested in coffee. I, I do you love coffee? I do, I do. I love really, really good coffee. Are you, really are, you are you like a George Clooney type of coffee? George Clooney type. Uh, <laughs> what what type of coffee does George Clooney have? It's, it's like that stuff, like like that toy stuff that you put in a coffee machine. You, oh no, God! That. God no! I, I don't like the taste that much of of that no. capsule stuff. No, yeah, I I do. Um, so. So I actually drink counterculture coffee. Counterculture is um, is actually in uh, my hometown, um, Durham, North Carolina, and they are uh, they're some of the I, I I think they're some of the world's best coffee, and and um, a, a lot of other uh, coffee folks out there know their know who they are, but um, but their name is Counterculture for you guys who want some really good coffee. Mm. But um, I see a lot of that. Yeah, yeah, and I no, I I did. Um, have you have you heard of the uh, the bulletproof uh, stuff? Have you heard of the bulletproof diet and all that? Uh, Dave Osprey. No. no why? He has some really interesting research on how um, really a lot of the coffee beans um, out there have like this uh, really um, terrible mold that that grows on it actually, and so um, unless it's roasted and dried in a particular way. Um, in a particular fashion that it, it creates an environment for that mold to grow. So wow. um, I started being really particular. Yeah, yeah. And, and it's and it's one that really, really um, creates a ton of inflammation and, and other uh, really um, terrible health effects. But I started paying attention to that stuff. And No, no, I, I really love it. I mean, I, I drink coffee. Mostly mm -hmm. it's not because I, I have an addiction with the coffee. I usually, <laughs> I usually drink coffee most of the time because you sound like a coffee addict. It's not because I, I, <laughs> I, don't, I I'm not an addict in the coffee. I'm not. I'm not. I, I can't know. I'm, I'm not a coffee addict. I just don't know any other. Yeah, I don't know what the word is, but I'm not a coffee addict. <laughs> Trust me, dude. I don't do coffee drugs. No, I don't. <laughs> I mean, I I love coffee. Me myself. Yeah. Me myself and I. <laughs> and actually the coffee is that every time I, I have an allergy with the food allergy or like with the uh, with the, with the air allergy yeah. I always drink coffee because it helps me to take off the allergy quickly in my body huh. yeah it's it's actually faster than taking a medicine hmm. that is really interesting I didn't realize that help and stuff like that caffeine hmm. very cool um I don't I'm think having, I'm, I'm actually having fun. Hey, that's a good thing. People <laughs> generally people generally have fun. I mean, it's a, this is a fun fun. Um I don't man, people aren't really leaving any questions for you. It's really strange. Uh, it's okay. Um they're afraid. Yeah, they're they're so afraid. Yeah, they're afraid of you. I know I think they're afraid. Um but I don't know, maybe it's just not a good time of day for folks. Maybe people are out doing their jobs. I don't know. Probably. Uh, well, yeah. It's Wednesday. Yeah, it so is. Normal Wednesday keeps our connecting. Are still sleep, probably. Yeah. It's it's like two thirty in the afternoon over here on my side. What time is it over there? It's seven, like seven twenty-seven. Seven twenty. Yeah. Yeah. yeah seven thirty. Two twenty-seven here. Yeah. Wow. Like um, hours from from North Carolina. Yeah. Have you ever been in North Carolina? Nope. The only part that I've been is is California, and now we're going to Oregon very soon yeah, for the workshop that we are we, we are about to unleash there. It's already unleashed, so we're just waiting. What workshop is that? It's a Let's Go workshop. So let's go. Let's go, let's go with an exclamation point. Let's go, to, and yeah, with the three exclamation point. <laughs> <laughs> let's go workshop. And <laughs> funny. Some of the workshop names are just are just like God. It's so interesting and unique, and I appreciate it. No, it's so much fun. So, yeah, that workshop we was created by, by us, Don Plus Helen, Don Plus Helen, mm -hmm. and by Grace and Jaden. 
the, those two folks we love so much okay. from Oregon. You, you know them, Grace and Jaden. Uh, uh, what's her last name? Grace, uh, Grace Hurtian. I don't know how to say her, her surname. Hurtian, okay. I think. Grace Hurtian. Okay, I don't think I've, I've met those guys. I don't think I have. I'll, I will look them up and uh, maybe one day I'll do one of these with them. Yeah, so. they're fun. I mean, they're crazy. You'll love them. <laughs> for sure. For sure. Wait, um, uh, are you doing the Looks Like Film workshop? Yeah, the, we. The choo -choo yeah. Thing? I think there's no, another. Answer. We're not going to the, the New York, sadly. Lucas didn't love me so much, so oh. just throw us out. Oh, <laughs> no, just kidding. Lucas. I love you, Lucas. If you're watching, <laughs> you're my favorite person on the whole planet Earth. I love you. <laughs> Fantastic. Um, yeah, yeah, that's happening in um, October. October, right? Mid October. Yeah. yeah, it's got some some folks in there. Yeah, Tw Twyla will be there. Sam Twyla Jones. Yeah, I just did one of these with her um, last week, or or something like that, uh, or a couple weeks ago. And then who else is going to be there? I think Sam, Sam Bird and Sam Nessa Nessa, and yeah. Pablo. Pablo, yep, yep. Pablo will um, be there. I don't know about. It. I don't. I don't. I don't really know the rest of those folks. It looks like. It looks like uh, people's names I can't even pronounce. Um, probably when you see their photos, you remember them. Yeah, probably so. Probably so. You're right. Um, I mean, when people see my face, they remember me. <laughs> no. Oh, that is the dude that did this stuff to me and this stuff. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, it looks like October 10th to the 13th. The Choo Choo Camp is happening in New York City. Yes. Um, yeah. It's a very so. interesting workshop that you should go. Yeah. Um, we're inviting maybe. everybody. Choo -choo. Maybe, maybe. Choo Choo. Yeah. Um, they still have uh, slots, eh? Free slots. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. On. Um, yeah, and then uh, lots of other things happening really soon. Me and Twyla might be doing something soon down here in the southeast, actually. Southeast. Wow. wow, that would be yeah. fun. I mean, Twyla is is, is she near to your uh, North Carolina? Yeah, she's. Um, her and Sam are probably the closest folks to me. Um, Sam is in D.C., which is just a few hours north of me and then Twyla is in Florida which is um I don't know what city she is in I think she's near Jacksonville I don't I don't know, but I, I I don't I don't think she's Jacksonville I think it's somewhere else but I just know her photo from Jacksonville so she yeah, yeah. um but, uh, well um you know that's that's a few hours south as well more than a few but um but yeah those guys are the closest to me and Sam is actually coming down here to do his workshop in December too, which is cool. Wow, uh, that will be fun. Yeah, if yeah, you, if fun. you have time in November, come up and have a beer with us in uh, Oregon. I would love to come to Oregon. I've been there, been there once. Um, it's gonna be Let's Go workshop will be from the first until the fourth of November. Yep. So if you have time, I think Ryan 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 is hopping in as well to hang out a bit. Uh, a long. <laughs> Ron Longnecker? Yeah, hopefully he do. Cool. Yeah, I talked with him a while back too. He's a good fellow. I like his stuff. I like a, I like his style. I, I love his beard. Yeah, he's got a great beard. He does. Yeah, I can grow. I mean, if I try to grow my beard, it's like it will take me like ages. But yeah, so, uh, for a month or like a three months, I, I'll really? grow my, my, my mustache just like here. I mean, wow. you know? Like a kung fu master. <laughs> so do do folks from the Philippines do they don't grow they don't grow facial hair then? Is that no we don't do, we don't grow too much hair. I mean I'm 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 the I'm the bear in my family. I'm, <laughs> I'm the bear from my family. Look at this. That's that's amazing. Well I guess, you know, it's it's really hot there and there's yeah. uh, you know, I guess uh uh, people really who've been hot. there for for a long time um, don't they don't need hair. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't know. It's just hot. <laughs> well, so uh, 
in contrast though, I will say this. So my grandfather is from um, Jordan or uh, he was, was born in Jerusalem, but mm -hmm. in 1948 uh, or when he was born in Jerusalem, it was actually Jordan. It wasn't Israel at that time. Anyways. Um, so he was a, he was an Arab um, in the Middle East. So he was, uh, I have a ton of that blood in me. Um, Son of hair. And, yeah. Well, it's something like certain parts of me, you know, it's like, it's like I have, uh, I don't have any hair here, a bunch of hair in the arms. It's like, I don't, I think, I don't know. It's weird. You know, you have, you have like more hair in the eyebrows and I don't know, maybe it's just a, I don't know. The mix. It doesn't make any sense. The mix. I mean, yeah. you, you're mixed. Yep. No, I'm totally mixed. You're totally mixed. My, yeah. Yeah. My, my, uh, uh, my, my mother's side's family is from South Alabama, near Tuskegee. I don't, have you ever been, been to Alabama? No. Never heard of it? No. Yes, I love Alabama. Songs and videos. <laughs> Sweet home, Alabama. Yes, I totally know Alabama. <laughs> yes. Yes. Well, um, <laughs> well, at least you have a pod positive connection to Alabama. A lot of folks, you know, they read the history books. And, uh, okay. So. <laughs> That's but awesome. anyways, yeah, yeah Alabama and, and, and the South and all that stuff. So, I'm, yeah, I'm like this strange... Uh, <laughs> but in, in, in the south there. Anyways, back hey, to you have to you have to come here in the Canary Islands for vacation. Yes, definitely. Well, Pablo, bring, bring your family. I will. I will. Pablo already said that I could come and stay, and um, maybe I'll just crash your place, and you know. Come on, guys. Too. Yeah. You can. You so. can. Your children will play with my child. Mm -hmm. Her name will be Emily. She's a girl. Oh, okay. Cool. My daughter loves little little babies. She. she <laughs> They're, they're actual little babies. She's like, oh. <laughs> so, um, so back to back to photography. Um, what? Where do you think? Uh, we're, we're not actually talking about photography. We're talking about <laughs> of minus photography. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I love this. I love this. I, I know. Love this. It's good. It's good. I, um, I think it's important for folks to, to hear your, um. <clears throat> Let's see. Where do you think where do you think photography is going in the next few years? Well, in the next five five to ten years, what are, I mean, it's changed pretty dramatically since you guys got in the business, and and myself as well. A lot of other folks in, in the past few years. I mean, yeah, do you think it'll continue to change as far as like what expectations are, gear, um, experimentation, etc.? Yeah, things are are change, are 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 passing very quickly now. Yeah. And not, not only photography and, and many kinds of business now. I mean, including in food, in restaurants, in hotels, all things are evolutionizing. How you say evolutionizing? From yeah, sure. Evolutionizing. Sure. Actually, from good to great. I mean, like when, you, when we started photography, I think we need, we need like a year or so to, to develop techniques and to be better and what we're doing in the craft and to find our own voice and so on and so forth. Yeah. But now in just a few months, hips are just getting better and better and better and better. Mm -hmm. So probably in five years, um, I mean, the only thing that will make somebody or someone different from one another is, 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 is not, it's not only their gear, it's not only their preset they use in ed editing, because those things can be learned quickly. Yep. So there has to be something special in you or that, that n nobody is doing. I mean, apart from being a bis good businessman, mm -hmm. apart from being a good person, apart from being a good people like you love, you love speaking to them, you love to speaking with people, organizing stuff, yeah. organizing stuff. I mean, sharing things for free without uh, uh, thinking of a monetary exchange. Sure. So these things will separate you from from other photographers who are always secretive about their stuff. Oh, this is my stuff. I don't want anybody to know about my preset, about the way I shoot, about the way I think. Sure. So this kind of thing, kind of photographers, in five years' time, they will be gone, because new photographers who is very open, very funny, very fun. I mean, good businessmen will eat them sure. alive. So. We will, we will be eating alive, Mark. So, <laughs> yeah, that's right. yeah. I mean, if we don't keep keep putting ourselves out there, I would agree with that. I mean, it's it's a it is a really interesting um, 
thing that, yeah, I would, I would agree with that. Um, I think uh, Sam is a great example of that. I think that he is, he's one of those guys who um, has continually, you know, first of all, been a human, but also, yeah, I mean, shared his stuff and, and been very candid and, and also just kind of been an organic human, which is, that was, I think that's one thing that people find refreshing about him. You know, he, he, you know, makes good work and is also a real human at, at the same time. And so um, that's so uncommon with folks. Like you were saying, you know, two years ago, you shot that, you guys shot that wedding. You're like, damn, I'm good. You know, uh, and we all have done that. We all did that. No, 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 you, no, you're going to use that, that phrase all the time with me, eh? <laughs> yeah. For sure. For sure. And yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's really, really interesting. Um, wow, something just happened with the audio. Oh, you hear that? Oh, yeah, yeah. something. Do you, you hear like, like a, a like like you hear, like you're sh like you're shooting away from me? Yeah, yeah, interesting. <laughs> um, the distance is that's the distance. Yeah, I don't know. Well, let, let me, me go, go back, back to the question. question. Let's see. Oh, can, oh, can you, you talk, talk about, about some other specific photographers that inspire you? Um, or, or maybe not even photographers, maybe uh, other artists that inspire you. you know. mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, we love uh, when we when we first started. We followed loads of photographers, lots of wedding photographers all the time. We followed their stuff. We tried to copy. We put it on on ourselves, but in the end, we are not. We are not that um, happy with the results because what we're seeing in our photography is not us, sure. but them. Sure. We I try to copy. We try to copy Sam. We try to copy Ryan Benizer. I try to copy Pablo as well. I mean, these these people have been in, in the business for many years, so it's normal that you copy at first when you start the business. That's very normal. Sure. Don't be don't be don't be mad at you that you are useless if you're copying others. It's very normal, but in the end, in the end, you just go, you just, you just go. I mean, you just reach that cliff that you say, okay, until here, I have to do something. I have to do something about my photography to see it as myself, not only to see it as my, as 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 my fingerprint, but my to reach the clients that I really want, the type of clients that I really want. Is I mean we love clients who are real people who love who love living who love themselves and 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 actually it's a rad wedding as well I mean well organized wedding because when we first started thinking back then we are our, 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 our price is very low when we first started our price is very very low and the type of clients that we receive are the clients that is very that's very how do you say it in English? Um, who is thinking, okay, this price is cheap, I'll go to it. Mm -hmm. So they're always going for the cheap things. Sure. And this kind of sure. uh, clients normally bring, brings you headaches afterwards. Because after the wedding, I want more quality. I want more quality in the photography. I want more quality in the album. I want photo more quality. I want more free stuff. And yeah. this is what, what yeah. happened at first. Well, how do you make sure well, that you, you get those clients? The cheap ones or the what we want. <laughs> yeah, well, thinking back back then, wow, well, those are like lo loads of pain in the heads. Those those type of clients. It's not because they're bad people. It's just they just ask so much stuff uh, in return, free stuff, and you're not you're not happy at all. So what we did is that we changed our, our pricing. First, first of all, changing the price really helps. Really helps. Not only changing the price, but you have to make sure that you are giving your client the best quality quality job ever. So we have to be better in the way we shoot, the way we edit, and uh, we have to give those products as fast as fast as possible than the other uh, competitions around. So normal turnaround here in the islands are two to three months, but we, we, our turnaround is like 15 days or less. 
Okay. So we have to cut it off. You have to be fast, quick in editing and uh, turning around all those products from our clients. And uh, and uh, what's with the shooting? What's with the shooting? Well, well. Am, am I am, am I am I staying in line? Am I staying in line? What we're speaking? What we're speaking? Um, I think our audio is like totally losing it right now. So, um, I can hear you perfectly. I can hear you perfectly. Yeah, you started talking like an alien. Yeah, no, yeah, you yourself as well, just like a second ago. Okay. I think it. Yeah, I think everything's fixed now, though. Yeah. Yeah. Everything good. Yeah, everything good. I'm very, I'm very near and on the router actually. Okay. Cool. Yeah, I don't know what happened. I think an alien like just took over our sound just for a second, but we're back to normal. Um. And so we were talking about, um, yeah, getting the clients we want. Um, yeah, getting the clients we want. So I mean, if we want to get the clients we want, we have to do, we have to do something differently from the others, and mm -hmm. target those clients that we wanted. So we have, first of all, our blog, our website. We have to show what kind of clients or what kind of weddings we want to get. If if you are like a open type of photographer, like in the mountains and the flowery hairdress type mm -hmm. of photographer and the wavy dress. Of the bride, if that is your your type of uh, photography, well, put that on your website. Well, if, if you if you are more, sorry, um, I I think that's important. What about for folks who are trying to start out and just don't have weddings? Yeah, well, the first of first thing that that those uh, type of people can do is that second shoot for somebody, second second shoot for a photographer. Who, who they think are successful and who they think that they, they are really good in what they're doing. I mean, offer their, their services to them at least for free to start off for those type of photographers. Sure. And then sure. you, you are learning from them how they shoot. You are learning for them how they treat their clients. You are learning actually with them on how they edit because in the end, they, you have to give them your 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 raw files, and then you right. say, "Wow, what did they did, did with my raw files? They look ugly, and then they look awesome." <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this this type of things is can be achieved. Speaking to the other photographers personally, this can be achieved. Like uh, connection on Facebook, connecting on Instagram, you have to go to the person directly. Of course, is that what you guys did? Actually, not, <clears throat> not. If we can, if we can turn back time, yeah. that that will be the thing that we will be doing. Because we, what we did is that we we went to the hardest way. We we critic ourselves, me and Helen. We help ourselves. Okay, this is ugly. Okay, this is bad. Now, how can we do it better next time? How can sure. we achieve sure. this kind of look next time? So that's yeah. that's that's how we improve ourselves. We we became our very worst critic. Sure. Do you think having each other help? Yes, a lot. I mean, we have a different uh, mind. Mind. Uh, we have different kind of thinking. Yeah. Woman always thinks about the details, thinks about uh, the numbers, sure. thinks about if if things are going well or go, going bad. Me myself, I don't. I don't really care about those stuff. I just go like, okay, oh, I'm so excited about this shoot, and oh, no, I can, oh, look at this, oh. Yeah, <laughs> like yeah, those better. things. I mean, you you know my point. I mean, if I don't explain it well, I I'll repeat it. Totally. Yeah, I think that's a um, a great reason to have other folks in in your business uh, that that you work that you work there. Hmm. I mean, you have to be good creatively and business wise, because if not, the 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 business won't won't have a chance to stand. Sure. Sure. Um, let's see. Let's see. So, so, gosh, gosh. Sound. Sorry. Sorry. Um, um, the sound is good, man. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I mean, uh, I, I wonder I how other how other are doing here. I just keep just keep keep hearing every day. Okay. Some of the echoes. Um, 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 talk about how you got connected. It looks, looks like some. You guys, you and Don, Don, Don are even Helen. Oh, you're on the set. Yeah. Um. Like some Oh, well, actually, this this project was uh, 
start it started it's not it's not our own initiative the tribe archipelago, archipelago uh, initiative was started by lucas himself of lucas lucas uh, pietek of looks like film and uh, with the help of uh, richard and amy of uh, tribe red leaf if you know them they are very good guys from canada and uh, we thank them so much because they help us a lot from improving not only improving our photography but as well in supporting our madness from from the start until now i mean this these people lucas richard amy they've supported us way from the start until now well actually the the, tri the tribe archipelago started well it started like from october the project started before october and we were like two months or three months trying to work out the new sets for the, the for the presets so that will be ryan Lauren, Chris, and us, Don plus Helen. We work hard during three months, two or three months, until before we released it. Cool. Well, how, how did that come about? Come about guys. I mean, well, how did they find you? you? Yeah, I mean, looks like film. Looks like film is 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 a good uh, source of um, of inspiration, and as well a good source of people looking at your work. Yeah. So. Uh, so if people get into it, we have to think. It looks like film. It's not only photographers who are looking in, in, that, in those groups. It's not only future clients who are looking in those groups. And as well, there, there are people like sponsors who are willing to sponsor you to, to, to support your, your madness in your work. If they see you're doing something crazy, you're doing something mad or something new, they will contact you, like, just like Lucas did with us just like uh, Richard and Amy of uh, Tribe Red Leaf did with us. Sure, sure. Cool. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, it's, it's, no, it's no secret. I mean, dude, most of, well, our photography, if you compare it to other people, there are loads of better photographers than us because imagine it's, it's worldwide. We are just a piece of dust in that worldwide water of photographers. So, I mean, it's like if you're doing a good job, if you're a good person, and then opportunity just pass by, the train, choo -choo, just hop in, hop in with that madness, and probably things will work out with you. Yeah. I mean, yeah. with all of us. Um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Uh, before we end, let me ask me a question. Really. I, do you want me to ask you a question? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Mark, you look young, but please tell me, how old are you really? <laughs> um, I am 32 years old. Yeah, I'm 33, actually. Hmm. And uh, please tell us about, about you, you uh, your, your most embarrassing moment as a photographer. From start until now, just one, the best. Just one, okay. just the best. Thank you. Um, well, I guess about two years ago, maybe three years ago, I had to do a um, cover shoot, and um, I, I had a schedule for and. and uh, it was here in my hometown, and I ended up breaking my foot uh, the beginning of summer, and that just didn't cancel the shoot. So, no. um, the, the artist came to town, and um, I was on a country and I had to hop around on one foot and do an album of the shoot in the middle of my hometown. And it was, it was hard, I was feeling my balls off, and... Um, it, it actually turned out really, really well. Uh, but I mean, it was it was pretty hard to find the because I mean, I've got a cat and um, you know, I'm just hopping around. But luckily, my wife came and helped, helped me with it a little bit. Uh, she did the thing and she did that. But um, that was that was pretty embarrassing. You know, you're trying to be all cool and um, you know, you're trying to. to you're trying to, trying to look good and you're trying to look good. I can't even stand up on my own two feet. So, um, 
yeah, that was that was very embarrassing. Well, that that is actually I I don't I don't I don't classify that as embarrassing. That's actually fearless. I mean, that is actually brave on your part to still appear there with the crouches, even though you don't you can't stand. You're in pain, probably. Lots of painkillers at that time, probably. Yeah, probably. Um, it, was, it was embarrassing at the time. I mean, yeah, looking back, I guess it was kind of And then plus, those feathers that came out, came out came and were close to good, good. is wild. wild. That was back that was before back I had the 5B. I think I shot with the uh, 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 Ken 70. Well, so, so, yeah. yeah. It's been a long time. It sounds like it's been a long time. Two years ago. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. It's, it's, um, uh, it, 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 I think in the time of it, it's two years, it's a long time, you know. It's, yeah, it's actually, interesting. it's like, it's like having, a, having, 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 having you buying a new computer at that time, and then two years ago, it's just face out. Sure, sure. That's what it seems like. Yeah. In, in this world. In this world. Good. Um, so all right. Just one question before you leave. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, I mean, when you have when I I saw your profile that you had, you have two children. Okay, so how how would you say? Because I'm going to be a father. This question is actually a personal question of me from you. Mm-hmm. So, you you have two children. Was it was it that really hard those first those first few months? I mean, most of people say, oh. You will lose sleep. Oh, you will lose weight. Oh, you will die in the first few months. That's, That's true. true. Come on, man. Really? That's, no, 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 no. It's not. Uh, yeah. yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't know. It's, it's, it's really an, an individual thing. I think that, um, I don't know, you, you learn a lot about those first, first few months of having a kid. I think it's, it's a, it, it is a really hard thing. It's not easy to, to, to have another human. Um, join your family and try to figure out everybody's new role, you know, your role as a, as a dad and, and as a photographer and also as a husband um, and, and an employee of a profession you're doing. I mean, it's hard. It's really, really hard. Um, and honestly, I mean, I've been doing this six years, I've been a dad six years, and probably been, I would say I've been a photographer for six years ish. Um, definitely been teaching it for six years, but, but uh, being a professional, uh, I wouldn't say that. But um, throughout that, it's been really interesting how I've kind of incorporated my kid and my wife into my photography and how, how much they have kind of um, helped me develop that and see what I actually want to do too. Um, so I, mean, I, don't, I don't know if there's one answer for that. I know that it's, a, it's one of those things where I have to people to be open minded. And, and just chill as much as I can. And yeah, it's going to be time. It's some really shitty moments. But, you know. I mean, you, you, did it. You, you did it for love. For sure, for sure. For sure. I, mean, I, would, I would agree with that. It's, it really is about love and about humans. And, and, um, and it's, it's really rewarding. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to think about it. It's, it's, it's fucking hard. 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 It's, 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 it's seriously hard. hard. So, um, especially as, a, as an artist, you know, as someone, you know, you're trying to make your own way and do your own business. That's not an easy thing with, um, with kids and traveling and all that. So, so it is what it is. Thank you for your words. Thank yes. you for yes. being true. <laughs> thank you for saying thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> Cool. Well, well, I think we're, I think we're, I think we're out of time. time. We've been here for an hour. Yeah, for an hour. Good. Flip, That's flip, awesome. Flip well, didn't notice that. Yeah. Time flies. Hey, thank you so thank much, you much for, for what you do. And, and again, I send Helen our love, and I hope she feels better. Um, yeah. Well, I'll send yeah. your kisses and your hugs. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. <laughs> <laughs> And, and again, thank you guys so much for your contributions to the photography community and, and also just your positive vibes. I think that, that you two just bring something to um, this culture that is severely needed. Um, 
Um, and not just the photography world, but, but just the, the world in general. And, and I really appreciate that. I know that our audience is too. So, so thank you, guys. Thank you for giving us this opportunity, Mark. You're a great guy. You're doing something crazy. So we're on your train. So let's cool. do this crazy stuff. All right, man. Cool. Have a good day. Guys, y'all can follow Don and Helen. If you're on my blog, you can see their Facebook, their Instagram, and their Twitter. And I forgot to put their website on there. I'm going to do that right now. I'm going to add it in. Um, <laughs> I just thought about that. Uh, but yeah. And then you can also find their presets. Where can they find your presets, Don? It's in tribearchipelago.com. So all the three sets are there. And very soon we, we are releasing the next sets. So exciting. Very cool. <laughs> awesome. Congratulations on that. And have an amazing day, Don. And you guys out there, go find Don and Helen and follow them. And uh, if you want to, troll them too. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> send us, us message and videos and we'll reply soon yeah for sure awesome <laughs> have a good day see ya bye